Welcome to ESC TV. Hello, Axel. Hello, Lina. We are here going to discuss briefly um, what the basic science of today represents for the clinical practice of tomorrow. That's a very critical point in our activity at the Basic Council and at this conference uh, especially. And we have uh, certainly three areas where we're making a lot of progress into that direction. That is on one hand uh, fostering translation, fostering translational formats where people can see how the basic science is really developing into clinical uh, practice and we call that uh, science in practice. And this year we had a number of these events, for instance one on the still pretty elusive question of microcirculatory dysfunction in coronary uh, or in angina without coronary artery disease or visible coronary artery disease. The other approach which we have is uh, supporting young uh, scientists, the so-called scientists of tomorrow. They have in this conference, and I hope they will have in the next one, 2015, they will have uh, five uh, symposia which they coordinate together with us, so to uh, start working on this kind of level. Very good. Can you tell me if you are satisfied with the uh, content of the basic science core uh, within the, uh, the, this meeting? Um, you were instrumental in the Congress uh, program committee and I like to see your impression of the meeting now that we are finishing ESC 2014. Yeah, um, if you say I was instrumental I'm obviously biased but I think also from talking to other people who have been regular visitors of the ESC Congresses they feel that the quality is improving, the consistency is improving Really, it's not my work, it's the work of the whole council, very many people in the program committee and in the um, working groups and sister societies, they're making a lot of proposals which are very, very good and we have always hot stuff. Like for next year we might have again something on vaccination against atherosclerosis or what is gut microbia doing uh, with respect to heart disease. So we still have cutting edge uh, symposia and, and people coming from all over the world, they say it's very high quality. I believe one of our greatest initiatives is the sci this Science in Practice Symposia. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what is your opinion? Do you agree with me? Because this is a, a great idea that uh, came from the Council. Yeah, it's very relevant because uh, this conference is a very huge conference. It's not a basic science conference per se, but it's a conference where very many um, cardiologists want to see what are the scientific foundations of their work and that's exactly the topic here so for instance in this uh, example of, of atrial fibrillation which we had this year or coronary microcirculation they get a symposium where they see the real basics of it Good. and then they uh, get translational and clinical symposia and all it fits together to a larger picture perfect and finally the perspective for 2015 in london are very good because we have a prescope <laughs> just tell us yeah, the uh, basic science community has uh, decided to screen their proposals internally before they go into the wider ESC screening process. The advantage of that is that we can uh, avoid duplications, we can optimize proposals and we did that from April to now and we have like 30 or so proposals really with very good topics like I said from, from uh, coronary vaccination to gut microbia to atrial fibrillation and channels, uh, canonical and non-canonical functions. So you will get next year or everyone who will attend will get the top uh, cutting edge uh, basic science and translational stuff. Hot topics indeed. Thank you very much, Axel. Thank you, Lina.